Hello, welcome to another video. Umut here. Today I'm going to create two tags at the same time using this amazing new collection from Kaiser Craft. It's called Indigo Skies and it's like made for me because it's my favorite colors, white and blues. You can see uh, all uh, the elements of it if you search uh, Indigo Skies. Uh, so I'm not going to show all of it. I'm just uh, now going to stick uh, one of the papers uh, on my tags. The tags I'm using are from Prima. Uh, they are quite thick, uh, that's why I'm using them. Uh, I'm just uh, using my matte medium uh, to stick these two tags on the paper. I'm using the design that is on the other side of the paper. This will just be my base to start with. Meanwhile, I can tell you, you will find list of supplies that I use here down below at the description area or in my blog as usual. And here are my two tags. Uh, I just have a design already to start. This is uh, another paper from the same collection. It has amazing uh, uh, quotations on it. And also it looks like a washi tape. Uh, so you can create nice designs with it as well. If you cut uh, and uh, stick it uh, on your uh, art journals or tags, uh, whatever you are working on. I will just cut uh, some of them uh, without any coats on it. This will be another background element that I have uh, going on at the back. I'm distressing these using my uh, Tim Holtz distress tool. Uh, you can use a knife uh, or uh, scissors as well, doesn't matter. Uh, I'm doing this for them to look like uh, torn washi tapes, uh, more realistic. Now that I have all of them, I'm going to stick them on my tags with my uh, matte medium again. As you see, I stick them in a way that they look like tapes that I stick. And I'm using a heavy gesso here from Prima. Just to go over them a little bit, not covering them fully, uh, but I want to push uh, these colors and designs at the back a little bit because they are very prominent, dark. Now I'm going to select two chipboards from Dusty Attic. One is this geometric shape and the other will be this frame set and I will use it in my two different tags. And before I move to sticking my uh, chipboards, I'm going to do some uh, texture work. I have this uh, border stencil from uh, Crafty Individuals. So I'm going to use my uh, modeling paste uh, to create uh, a little bit borders, uh, flower borders uh, around my text. I won't uh, do it all around, I will just do it uh, in uh, certain parts, just to create some interest. While they are drying, now I'm going to work on my chipboards. Uh, I'm going to cut this carefully, uh, I just wanted to let you know as well. Uh, you need to use a knife, your craft knife, to uh, detach these uh, delicate pieces from the uh, other chipboard that it is attached carefully, otherwise if you force it you can ruin your chipboards. Now I'm uh, covering it with gesso. I'm covering my chipboard with uh, heavy gesso because I don't want to have this uh, wooden look rather I want to have my chipboard white and actually I will uh, make two layers of this just to make sure it's covered well it's uh, bright and shiny white and uh, I'm cutting a part of this geometric shape just to fit into my uh, tag I think this is fine and I will do the same uh, on this chipboard as well. Now I'm going to stick my chipboards uh, on the tags. I'm using tacky glue. 
because uh, I want it to be uh, strong. to the fun part I will use also some flowers these are uh, from Martha Stewart they are super uh, beautiful and they have some glitter on them also they are uh, self adhesive so it's uh, very easy to use so I will use a few uh, see how it looks so play with it a little bit and I have these uh, other flowers from craft box uh, actually how I get them is uh, maybe it will be useful for my friends in UK uh, they give uh, boxes monthly boxes containing different things uh, and uh, one month they did flower box so uh, you pay an, a certain amount of money and you get a lot of flowers with different uh, colors that's how I got it I will give you uh, the link uh, down below to the shop uh, probably you won't find the flower box but you can follow they do it from time to time and they have other things in their shops anyway while I was playing with some embellishments uh, my tags looked very white to me uh, it, it wasn't uh, being cohesive with a uh, colorful embellishments that I was planning to use that's why I decided to give a little bit color and I'm using my gelatos I'm just applying it and smudging it with my finger it's very easy to move gelatos this color is called elderberry it's a really nice uh, blue color it's between a blue and violet as you see I am applying it here and there just to give some color uh, to some areas And I will show you uh, what I did with the first paper I showed you, this butterfly uh, paper. While I was watching TV, uh, I cut all of them. Uh, so uh, I'm going to decide uh, how many I want to put uh, on which tag. I love these butterflies and the color on them. Uh, and it's very easy to use because uh, I didn't need to create them. Uh, and I love this uh, flower, uh, the color goes very well with my uh, butterflies. I'm sticking them with a matte medium. My flower is again from this craft box uh, flower box uh, that I got. And here's another gelato. Since uh, I used uh, butterflies with darker blues, I thought it would be good uh, to use a darker blue as well. Again, to make my tag more cohesive. This color is called satellite, uh, since it's difficult uh, to smudge it in some uh, tricky areas, I am also uh, using my water brush, not to smudge it all over, because I don't want it all over the tag. Also, sometimes I take it directly with the brush from the stick. This way I can reach uh, to the areas in between like this and uh, give some color. stick another embellishment after all this uh, coloring this is from 13 arts it is white but uh, has some blue uh, shadows on it so it goes perfect with my tag I also decided to raise my butterflies a little bit so I am putting some 3d foam uh, tape behind them and I will use these frills uh, I used them before uh, I love them they are uh, mini stones with color and they have many colors but I have only two uh, so but luckily the color of this goes perfectly with my uh, tag so I'm applying a matte medium in places I want to have them and then 
when I put them on top uh, they stick. Now it comes to the sentiment, uh, again it's from the same collection, this is the sticker set. I'm just going to select one of these uh, sentiments uh, and I decided to go with Loving Life. The color goes very well with uh, the tones uh, I see on the tag. I sticked it in the middle again uh, to balance it out. I'm using uh, foam tape, square foams. Uh, at the back of one side and I saw these little uh, hearts with different tones of blue and this area was a little bit empty so I decided to stick them uh, like I stick it on the tapes and it goes with the concept of uh, loving life and after I looked uh, I wanted to complete some areas uh, with prills again when I look uh, the bottom was uh, very heavy with them and up uh, there was none so uh, it looks better now. And lastly I will do some white splashes with my uh, white ink uh, from Ecoline. And uh, I gave the uh, hole again uh, with a punch uh, and I'm going to use uh, this simple uh, ribbon. Uh, it is white with glitter uh, and I will cut it short uh, just to complete this tag. Now one is finished. Uh, I hope you like it. And I will uh, move on to the next one. So I'm picking up where I left. Uh, I have my flowers with 13 arts uh, embellishment. Uh, and again, uh, because it's so white, uh, I will give some color to this one as well. Uh, I'm using uh, satellite uh, gelato. And uh, when I started coloring, it also bothered me the flower combination. So I changed it, I took one flower and replaced it with uh, another, again from Martha Stewart uh, stickers. For this one I want to go a little bit darker, uh, especially up and down. You will see that this draws the eye actually to the middle, uh, because there is dark up and dark down on different corners. Uh, so unintentionally your eye will go and uh, try to see what's in the middle. I'm just sticking these uh, embellishments again with uh, tacky glue. I will stick other uh, butterflies from the same paper uh, that I cut them from. Uh, I'm using uh, foam squares to do so. And uh, I'm selecting a little bit darker butterflies as you see to go with the darker color that I applied. On the left hand side you will see all the collectibles actually which I didn't show you. But you can see it uh, for yourself if you are curious. And I'm sure you will, I will use them again in another project. This little butterfly is from the collectibles. Uh, I just uh, wanted to stick it uh, on another uh, bottom uh, of the project. And I uh, selected this again from the collectibles as my uh, sentiment. Uh, but the uh, edgy corners uh, bothered me, so I uh, punched it with my uh, corner punch uh, to make them round. Uh, and again, uh, I'm in love with these hearts, uh, little blue hearts. Uh, so it looked empty, I sticked uh, a couple uh, on this uh, frame. I found these uh, blue pearls uh, in my stash. Uh, again, I thought the colors go well and the frame is very delicate, uh, so I could do uh, embellish this frame and inside of my uh, flowers that I used uh, texture paste with these uh, pearls, blue pearls. And the last thing to do is uh, to put a ribbon. I'm using a plain white ribbon this time. Uh, and uh, no surprises there, I will stick a heart uh, in the middle of this uh, ribbon too. And uh, I use tacky glue to make it strong, otherwise it will fall. And I'm uh, doing my white splashes uh, as always. I really really enjoyed uh, doing these uh, two tags uh, because uh, it uh, gave me happiness just to look at them with these colors. I hope you like them too and here are the close-up pictures. 
for you to see the details. I will uh, put the list of supplies down below, but sometimes it's difficult to find the little ones that I bought from the local shops or uh, sometimes uh, some of them get delisted. So apologies if I miss uh, a few, but I will do my best to put them all. If you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe or hit the like button down below. Thanks for watching and hope to see you next time.